Hey, how you doing? This is RJ. Today, I want to go over John Mellon's new Indiegogo campaign, Graveyard Shift. Now, this Indiegogo campaign started about eight hours ago now, and it's already been backed three times more than what he has asked for his goal. The goal was 5,000. He's already hit over 15,000. 500 almost. And so it was backed within a little less than two hours. So this is the new Indiegogo campaign that everyone should be looking at. I'm going to do a video just on the campaign itself here now at the first, but I'm going to talk about something a little different at the end of it, not just the campaign itself, but where these campaigns are going and what they look like is happening with them. So this, this story itself, it says murdered scientists put into their own experiments are reborn as the superpowered graveyard shift. Now, this book, again, looks amazing. If you don't know John Malin, you probably do know John Malin. He has done Cable for Marvel. He's done Image Books. He has done the, um, he is the major artist on Jawbreaker's Lost Souls. And most of you, if you follow Comicsgate, and most of my subscribers really do, then you will know who John Malin is. And this uh, book is the way that our comics gate community is expressing itself. This is what we need. These are good comics. Now, he has a number of um, tiers here for what you want to, if you want to order it. There's a $50 one, there's a $25 one, um, all of which you get. Every one of these, you can get. Um, either one copy of physical copy of the book or multiple copies of the book because it goes from 25 to I do believe $200, $250 if you're looking for uh, an ash can, four ash cans, four signed graphic novels, plus a sketch, plus a t-shirt, plus a preview book. So there's plenty here to actually order and look at. But just look at this art, first of all, as I go over it. Try to go over it a little bit slow, but this is amazing art. And looking at this art is what got me to think about the second part of this video. Because if you look at this art, of course, you can see, you can just see the influence that early and late 90s comics had on John Malin. I mean, this looks like the original breakout hit of the 1990s of Cable, of X-Force, of X-Men, when they were doing spectacular things with the genre and having spectacular stories. This is what these, these pictures say to me. This is a continuation of that genre. And the important thing for me here to take away from this is that this is how comics naturally have evolved. This is the way that American comics, at the very least, have gone for the last 50 years, I would say. We'll, we'll cut it down and say 40 years. Because when I was reading books in the 70s, when I originally got into comics as a very young child and then continued on into the 80s, I wasn't able to really see the difference between what the books were. But when I got into the 90s, you could tell. You could tell that the artists and the storytellers were the people who loved comics, and they were evolving the genre itself. That is to say, they were looking at the stories that they loved as kids, and they were taking the best parts of it, and they were adding what they would bring to the genre, plus improvements in the genre itself, improvements in art, in how to construct art and how to construct a story and how to construct a good comic. And that's the way that comics went for a long time. But that's no longer the way that comics go anymore. Not the way that comics from the big two go anymore. It's just, it, it's not like that. There is no continuation. There was a break. And I would say that break happened, oh, at least 10 years ago. There are some hangers on here and there. But it's a fundamental break between the way the comics used to be made and the way that they are made now. Because these comics that are coming out from Marvel and DC now, for the most part, they are just a, 
I don't know what you call it. I, for Marvel, I would say they are just an advertisements for their real product, which is the movies. And so they try to copy other genres that have nothing to do with the original history of comics, that have nothing to do with your original stories, that have nothing to do with your original story arcs and characters. But this, this is the continuation. These Indiegogo campaigns right now that are going on, like Jawbreakers, like Graveyard Shift, like Blood Honey, all these other ones that are coming up and are being supported, these are the evolution of comics. This is where comics have been taken. This is where comics naturally would go to if it was a healthy industry. But the big two are not a healthy industry anymore. Therefore, we have to follow if we wish to actually see good comics and to see our comics actually grow and become better, which is what an industry should do always. If we are to follow that growth, we need to look to these comics, these comics on Indiegogo, these comics that are made by people who actually love comics, who actually know the stories. And no, they're not going to be the same characters that we're used to. To some extent, I would say that might be a good thing. To some extent, it is a comic that has the same feel, has the same look, has the same kinds of characters, but at the same time, we have to deal with new characters, and this is, this is the way that comics should be written. I mean, I'm looking at this. Look at this picture itself right here, okay? This, they're, they're, even their uniforms just reminds me of late 90s X-Men. I mean, right out. You don't have any of the X motifs, but really. It's just, it's not a copy, but it is something that has taken its origin from those and has added upon it. And to say, as an artist myself, as someone, I, I, I wish I could draw like this. I really wish I could. But as someone who writes, I would say the best way to actually get yourself going, the best way to write a good story is to take a story that you love and to write a continuation of it and then to take that continuation of it and to modify it slightly and modify it slightly and then make it your own and then make it into something that is new and exciting. Because one of the things, one of the things they always tell you that when you're trying to produce something like a novel, is that you can't say you're doing something specifically and wholeheartedly new that people have never seen before because there is no such thing. And if there was any such thing, no one would want to see it because they're not used to it and they wouldn't be gravitating towards it and they need something as a product that has a history. And so that's why when you put out something, uh, when John Malin has put this out, he has said that it is a superhero book which contains horror fantasy elements in it. And you need to have that history to draw from, and he has a spectacular history to draw from with these comics that we all love, or if you haven't gotten into, uh, actually if you're too young and haven't gotten to see the spectacular books that came out in the 1990s, you should go to your comic shop and actually look these things up and buy some back issues. They're probably cheaper than the ones that you're looking at right now from Marvel, and they are much better quality. So, Anyways, I wanted to do this short video just to go over this new Indiegogo campaign because it is a beautiful looking book and I think that everyone should seriously consider ordering this. And also, I like to keep up on the Indiegogo campaigns, the Kickstarter campaigns, the crowdfunded campaigns. If you look in the description of every video that I do now, it has a list of the current ongoing campaigns that you can look at and order from. And I do update it as much as I possibly can. Usually it only gets uh, a change in it every you know, a couple of weeks or so, but there are new books there all the time when I find new books to put on the list. So you should check out those um, campaigns that are in the, the links are in the description of every one of my videos, because this is the future of comic books. This is the future of our genre. This is how we keep comic books alive. All right. So 
If you like my video, hit like, hit subscribe. But if you like my video, I'd say, more important, go to this Indiegogo campaign page. Look it up. And seriously, you should consider ordering this book. Usually, I'm one of those people, I don't drag my feet, but I like to order at the end of the campaign just because I like to see everything that happens during it. I know a lot of people get into ordering it right at the first uh, I think that would be probably be better for John Malin's uh, mental state, you know, that he can see people order it and that they like it. But I'm one of those people who waits till the end. I don't know why. It's just uh, something that I do. Anyways, go and take a look at it and um, consider certainly, seriously, funding this because if you order the $25 book, the $25 package, literally that's what? Like, that's like, five Marvel comics. And I understand that it's fairly expensive, but you're going to get five times the product at least than you're going to get from Marvel right now. All right. I'll see you later. Bye.